what's up everybody? Welcome to another Top 10 Tuesday video. This is episode 38, I believe. And for this week, we are going to be talking about uh, sequels that you prefer over the original film. Now, that could just be, that could be any sequel, uh, part two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, just a sequel that you actually prefer over the original film, um, either in a franchise or just whatever, maybe a trilogy, whatnot. Um, yeah, there's actually quite a few sequels that I actually prefer over the original film. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I hate the original film or anything. It's just, uh, there's certain ones that I do prefer over the original. Um, you know, for an example, like Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 is my favorite in that franchise, which you won't see it on this list. And, you know, there's a few others. It's very, very well known that Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead I prefer over Night, but... You know, I love Night of the Living Dead. Um, Hellraiser 2 is another one that I really like over the original one, but I love the original film. Child's Play 2 is another really good one. Uh, and the list goes on. But as for the 10 that I picked, let's get into those right now. Uh, now, these are in no particular order because you can't really rank these. So this is just 10 that I prefer over the original films. And for this one right here is Prom Night Part 3, uh, The Last Kiss. Uh, if you can see that right there. Uh, yeah, it's by far my favorite in the whole franchise. Um, you know, the original Prom Night's actually starting to grow on me ever since Synapse released the Blu-ray. Uh, just watching that really, really nice transfer is, you know, kind of, it's made it better for me, I think. But uh, Part 3 is still my favorite one. Um, this is a Canadian box set, uh, so all the films are actually uncut in here. So Part 3 and Part 4 are uncut, which is awesome. So it has all the, the gore and the swearing and the nudity. Unlike that double feature that came out from whoever released that a few years back. Uh, yeah, that thing's garbage. It's all cut, TV cuts of the films. But yeah, The Last Kiss, I'm a big fan of the film. It's just, it's cheesy. It's just so fucking 80s. Awesome stuff, but yeah. So, Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss. Definitely prefer that one. Uh, next up here is the ABC's of Death 2. Now, I'm sure some of these choices won't be the, the popular, the, you know, they might be the minority picks, but I actually really do like ABC's of Death 2 more than the first one. I, you know, really kind of analyzed the first one, and it turns out I only like like 11 or 12 of the of the 26 shorts. This one I definitely liked more. Um, I thought the first one had some really good quality ones, but this one's got some good ones too. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. There's something about this one I just really preferred over the first one. Some, um, again, finish up, finishes up really strong like the first one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This one just, I got a lot more enjoyment out of it overall. So ABC's of Death 2. Uh, next up is probably one that's going to shock some people. Um, I'm assuming it's going to. Uh, maybe not, though. I've heard some people say that they preferred this sequel over the original. And that is uh, Wolf Creek 2. Um, probably going to catch some shit on this one. But it's just my personal taste. I really do like the original Wolf Creek. I think it's a great film. But this one right here was just fun as hell, man. I had such a blast with this. Probably could have done without the uh, the CGI kangaroo deaths. <laughs> that was kind of goofy and silly. But uh, overall, this one was nasty, man. I had a lot of fun with this. I really like when he captures... Well, I won't give anything away, but... Um, Wolf Creek 2, fun flick, man. I'm really hoping that they keep making these, so... Um, but yeah, actually, that's kind of the scene I was referring to right there. It's pretty fucking nasty, but uh, yeah. Wolf Creek 2, I think it's a fucking bloody fun film. Uh, next up here is uh, the sequel to August Underground, which is August Underground Mortem. Uh, I do prefer this one over the first one. I, I enjoy August Underground, but this one right here is just nasty and brutal. I think it's uh, a little a little more... <laughs> I don't know if I can use the word fun, but... Uh, I just I prefer this one over, over the original one. And I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. Everyone watching this video has probably seen this or wants to see it or whatever but yeah i'm not going to give anything away you just got to check it out for yourself you kind of have to see it to believe it kind of thing it's pretty brutal um but yeah mortem i prefer that over the original moving along we've got cold prey 2 uh i really enjoy the original cold prey film i think it's fantastic but this one right here man i just love the setting man it just it picks up right where cold prey leaves off uh, this time it's in a hospital, and it's got that hospital setting, you know, of course, the snowy setting. Um, but this is just a fantastic flick. I've yet to see the third one. I believe the third one does not even have a, a release with uh, English subtitles. 
Um, this was released by Shout Factory, you know, oddly enough. Um, I don't know why that will not focus, but, but yeah, um, yeah, Cold Prey 2, this is just a fantastic sequel, man. Really, really caught me off guard when I first watched this. I was like, damn, really good film, so. But yeah, if you've never seen Cold Prey 2, definitely give it a shot. Fun shit. Good stuff. Uh, moving along here. Now, here's an example of one that I prefer over the original one because I fucking hate the original film. And in my opinion, both sequels are actually quite fun and a little underrated because I don't think anybody out there is willing to give them a shot because... You know, the majority thinks that the first film is garbage, which it is. It's actually fucking beyond terrible. And that is The Boogeyman 2. And I also like Boogeyman 3. They're completely different than the first film. This one takes a totally different, uh, you know, stride from the first one. And the third one's quite different than this one. Um, the third one, these are more like slasher films in a way. So, a little more enjoyable, but, you know, these actually caught me by surprise. I was really just picking up shit one time, and I grabbed the sequels because I had the original one, and I was like, fuck, whatever. Gotta be a completist, and so I watched them, and I was actually quite surprised at how much I enjoyed these films. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they're really, they're kind of what you expect. They're slash films, but this is actually not bad. You know, it's got Tom and Bell in it. Uh, it's got a pretty decent story to it, and, um, yeah, I, I just say, man, you know, if you hated the first one as much as I did you might just owe it to yourself to give these ones a shot because they're a lot better than you you might think they are. But who knows, you might not like them either, but I don't know. Boogeyman 2, I really enjoy it. And the third one's really fun too. I like the setting of it. It's in a sets play, uh, in a dorm, which is kind of cool. I like my dorm slasher films. I'm a sucker for those. But moving along, uh, next up here is uh, The Purge Anarchy. Now, I'm actually... I've been on record saying multiple times, I'm not really a big fan of The Purge. I really do like the first half of the film, and I like the idea of The Purge. Um, I think that the second half of the film is just so ridiculous and just bad, and there's just no way the end of The Purge would ever go down like that. There's just no way. Um, so it really kind of hurts it for me, but this one right here I thought was really fun. It just I like the setting a lot more in this one, you know, out in the streets, and it's just, just pure anarchy. You know, it's a great title for it, but... Uh, this one I really highly um, like a lot more than the original film. I thought the, you know, I just like I said, it was just a lot more fun and just more believable. And I don't know, man. I think the I think the whole idea behind the Purge films is actually quite good because really all you have to do is put it in a different setting, and that uh, you got yourself a Purge film. So I don't know. I think this could be you know a decent uh, franchise in the future. So the Purge Anarchy, fun stuff. Uh, next up here is uh, Ghoulies 2. Um, I do like Ghoulies. It's not really a great film. It's got some slow parts. It's actually kind of not really that great technically. Uh, but Ghoulies 2 is just a ball of fun, man. It sets... It, it sets the setting is in the uh, amusement park, which is just awesome. The Ghoulies look amazing in this. Just so much fun, man. It's so much better than the original one. Um... I think this might be the popular opinion. I think more people do prefer Ghoulies 2 over Ghoulies. Um, you know, the original Ghoulies story, like, it has a little bit of plot holes and, you know, it's slow, but Ghoulies 2 is just, everything about it is fun as hell. I mean, if you've never seen Ghoulies 2, definitely check it out. It's fun stuff. Uh, move along here to Wrong Turn 2, Joe Lynch's sequel. Um, I am not really the hugest fan of the Wrong Turn film. I haven't seen it in years, actually, to be honest. But uh, I never really... Re like, I kind of remember not really caring for it too, too much. Um, but loving the sequel. I hate Part 3. 4 is not that great. I actually like Part 5, uh, which I know a lot of people don't like it. And I liked Part 6. I thought it was pretty fun. So I think it's pretty cool that the Wrong Turn films keep putting out sequels and actually having the number behind it. So Wrong Turn 6 pretty damn cool. But anyways... Wrong Turn 2, I think, is so superior to the original original film. And it is my favorite in the franchise. Um, yeah, we got Henry Rollins right there. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Everyone knows about this film, but I think it's just a better, better than the original. And last up here is Necromantic 2. Yes, I actually do prefer Necromantic 2 over the first one. I do, I like the original Necromantic film. I think it's fun, gross. Um... And just odd. It's it's a really odd film, um, you know. But Necromantic 2, I think, is a better made film. It's a little more enjoyable. There is actually one ridiculous, way over-the-top artsy part in this film that people watching the video probably know what I'm talking about. But I don't know, man. I think they probably could have cut that out. It's 
a prime example of a filmmaker that just doesn't want to cut anything that he films. Um, but, uh, I don't know, man. I, I really do like this sequel better. I think it's a better film, and I don't know. It just kind of explores this a little better, in my opinion. But, but that's just my opinion. You know, I'm not saying it's, you know... Well, actually, no, I am saying it's a better film. I think it's technically a better film. But I, I personally just enjoy it more, so... But yeah, Necromantic 2, and that's going to round out my top... Well, not top 10, but 10 that I do prefer. Um, like I said before, you know, like, I'm Elm Street 3, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, you know, Child's Play 2. Oh, The Devil's Rejects is another one that I really do like over the original one, too. Uh, VHS 2 is another one that I prefer over the original one. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few, but yeah, to round it out, Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss, ABC's of Death 2, Wolf Creek 2, we got Mortem, Cold Prey 2, Boogeyman 2, <laughs> The Purge Anarchy, which is The Purge 2, Ghoulies 2, Wrong Turn 2, and Necromantic 2. Yes, gotta love that cover, man. I actually have this shirt. It's pretty fucking badass. But anyways, guys, I'm blabbling. That's going to do for um, episode 38 here on the Top 10 Tuesday series. Of course, we'll be back next week. Make sure to check out everyone else's videos. The links will be down in the description. So head over to their channels, sub them, and watch their videos, and enjoy. Peace out, homies.